The Video Dead is a low-budget movie made in 1987 about zombies that come out of a television set. And if you think that concept is weird, just you wait. It opens with Mr. Jordan getting a mysterious package, and why does he have a dead fish just sitting in a bowl? Anyway, so he opens it in the worst way possible. Seriously, I could think of about a hundred better ways to open it than this. And it's a TV! So, I guess the Cubs won the 1984 World Series in this universe? But the TV turns on, and he turns it off, and it just immediately turns itself back on, so he decides he's just gonna unplug it and go to bed. I would've smashed that thing. So the TV turns back on, and the zombies start coming out of the TV. This is such a weird concept for a movie, but at least it's creative. But it turns out, this delivery company sucks, and sent the package to the wrong place. So, where was it supposed to go? Institute for the Studies of the Occult. How do you mix that up? But, I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, Mr. Jordan's just dead. So house gets sold, and Zoe moves in. And she gets a visit from a mysterious visitor, but it's not a zombie, because in horror movies, the first scare is always a lie. But it's her brother Jeff, although I don't know why he was walking like that. This Texas guy, from Texas, comes to pick up the package the previous guys delivered, which brings up the question of why haven't they picked it up in the past three months? But Jeff blows him off and gives the worst excuse I have ever heard to get rid of someone. I forgot to brush my teeth, so I gotta go. But later on, Jeff hears a voice upstairs, and finds the TV, and decides to bring it into his room. Oh, are mirrors important in this movie? This is April and her dog, who runs off, and April tries to find him for the weirdest reason ever. He likes to chase skunks in the woods, and when he finds them, he tries to mate with them. Only skunks don't like to mate with poodles, so they spray him, and then he really gets turned on. <laughs> what? What kind of logic is this movie following? This movie has some of the most awkward dialogue. So, they find the dog dead, even though he's clearly breathing and moving, but you want to know what a good excuse for how this dog died would be? The dog swallowed a ball. All we have to do is push the ball down the dog's throat. Not that. But they do this psychotic plan because they're psychos. But that night, Jeff is watching TV and not doing anything else. This woman comes out of TV and we're gonna have to skip that. But after she goes back, some guy from the TV tells him to tie a mirror facing the screen and put it in the basement. So after a zombie grabs him through the TV, for some reason, he manages to tape it up, and the other zombies go into April's house and just kind of look around and mess with stuff for a while. I'm not sure why, but okay. This wakes up the maid, and she goes downstairs, and I guess zombies just strangle people to death now? Never heard of that, but sure. And this iron does nothing. Then he just leaves her there. So I guess these zombies don't even eat people, so why make them zombies at all? Then this lady, I don't even know who she is, I don't think it even bothers to say, goes to the washer and this happens. Then she shoves her body in the washer and turns it on for no reason. These have got to be the most self-aware, stupid zombies I have ever seen. Just watch this editing. Yeah. Then Texas guy comes back and explains the situation to them. And this zombie carries April off. Don't even worry about how he got her. So they all get a bunch of mirrors and put them on the front door and nowhere else apparently. Since I guess the zombies hate mirrors because they can't 
stand to look at themselves? Sure, we're, we're just gonna go with that. It's revealed if they attack the zombies and make them think they're dead, they'll just lay there forever. Except for this guy, who got an iron plunged into his head and seemed perfectly fine with that. I'm sorry, I know that was really stuttery, but that's about the only way you could even try to figure out the logic in this movie. So after a useless five minute scene of Jeff and Joshua walking in the woods, they find a zombie and Jeff shoots him with arrows. And then he gets way too excited about wanting to cut up this zombie with a chainsaw because... My all time favorite horror movie is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Or maybe because he's just a psycho. So they finally find the cabin and Jeff gets tied up as live bait, and the zombies come, and Joshua falls asleep. And I guess the zombies can use sticks now, because why not? Honestly, that's not even close to the dumbest thing in this movie. We have more horrible shooting shots, and one of them gets the chainsaw and runs off with it. So then she kills Joshua, and starts chasing Jeff around with the chainsaw and the editing is so bad it just comes off as hilarious. But he hides in the cabin but doesn't even try to barricade the door and finds April. But he attacks the zombie in the dumbest way he possibly could have and gets killed for it. He kinda deserved it. So Zoe decides to leave a note and tries to leave. I just wanted to point out, that's an L, not a J. So I guess people in the 80s didn't know cursive either. But she sees that the zombies are coming, and decides to stay in the house, even though she could have easily just ran around all of them. I mean, they're really slow, and she had a lot of room. But then again, she's already shown that she's not very smart. Why is this part necessary? Zoe decides to try to not show fear since I guess if you don't show fear the zombies think that you think they're alive. Yeah. Invites them in and makes them some food and does this stupid laughing thing the entire time. But then she leads them to the basement to do some dancing and when she tries to leave, she trips over nothing, but manages to lock them down there. Then they go back into the TV, I guess. And Zoe goes to a mental hospital. And then her parents visit and bring her a TV they found at the house. So that's cool. So yeah, this is basically just your average low budget movie. The acting is pretty bad. Although it seems like this is the only acting credit for most of the main cast, the dialogue is just strange and awkward. But at least it's a different take on the zombie genre. Don't forget to do the YouTube stuff, and thanks for watching.